Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Next Goal Wins. Today we're talking about a West Ham game that's on tomorrow, it's the preview. So yeah, it's a top of the table clash tomorrow against West Ham at uh, Upton Park. Um, what do I think is going to happen then? I said that I, I, I'd be happy with a draw and I'm going to stick by that. I would be happy with a draw in this game. It, it's one of those ones we are always uh, have a terrible day out in London. I mean, Leicester are famed for being poor, poor in London. And I'm not really sure it will change. I mean, a point, I think, would be a really, really good result. I mean, West Ham have had form. They beat Arsenal at the weekend, surprisingly, away from home for a lot of people. And, and I think a point would be a really good result, especially at this point in the season. Uh, let's talk about what we think will happen in the game, then. So again, the players I think we've got to really watch out for are Dimitri Payet, someone who we should know a lot about in the Premier League because he did really, really well in Liga for Marseille. Another player I think we have to watch out for is Kiati. He scored against us last season and I think he'll be a real danger, but Payet's the main man. I mean, Payet can pull the strings, he, he can get assists and he can drift in and out of plays. I mean, the game against Arsenal he showed real impact just from his first game in the Premier League. Reese Oxford's obviously another one who a lot of people have talked about, but you know he only, he's only played one game so far, 16 years old. You can't really expect too much of him in a prone period of time, so I think Payet really is the one to watch out for. For us, I think Mares again, has to have a good game for us to play well. Met not necessarily as well as he did the first game, obviously, but I think a lot of them have to play well again for us to, to win again. But yeah, it's just going to be one of those games that could go either way. I mean, Merson, Paul Merson's predicted us to win. I've seen a lot of people predict West Ham to win. I'm not really sure too many people are are aware of what's going to happen in this one. The two teams seem pretty evenly matched really on paper. Obviously West Ham on a really poor Europa League qualifying campaign, but that winning against Arsenal must have boosted spirits. Both teams have new managers, new implementations from the managers, so I'm not sure anyone really is aware what's what's going to happen in it. Um, I personally think it'll be a draw. I'd, I think one all will be a, a fair result on the day, hopefully. Uh, I think one all will be what the score is. I think the goals will come from... Here we go. I think it'll come from any West Ham player. I can't I can't predict a West Ham player. But for us, I think the goal will come from Cramrich off the bench. I reckon Cramrich off the bench to get the goal. Um, yeah, I think it'll be quite a good day out for the, the one all, And I'm sure we'd all take that at this point in the season. What will West Ham maybe be worried about in this game? I mean, I did a little chat on a West Ham fans forum. Let's uh, watch that now just to see what I said on there. <laughs> Yes, this part of the show is called Who Are You? And every week we try to get an opposition fan on and we've got one with us this week. So, who are you? I am Charlie. I live in Leicestershire, Leicester season ticket season ticket holder for 11 years and I have a YouTube channel, Next Goal Wins. Check me out. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for giving up your time. No worries. Um, pleased to hear that you watched the, our game against Arsenal on Sunday. So come on then, what did you make of that? Impressed. Very impressed. I mean... As one as a sceptic from the outsider on Bilic, I mean, yes, he's done it before at teams. And at Besiktas, it was a bit so-so. But yeah, coming into the Premier League, I thought, I thought as a first game, you couldn't have asked for more, could you? Arsenal away. Sacrifice for Europa League, maybe, for it. But I don't know what you feel like that as a West Ham fan, getting out of the Europa League for the Premier League. But yeah, I mean, uh, Payet looked a class above. I mean, we know the assists he gets in the French League at Marseille. It's not a fluke. You can do it in a top league like that. You can do it in England. I mean... Players like Reese Oxford looked to settle in brilliantly. I mean, I know he was a talking point for a lot of people on social media, especially his kind of rise up from obscurity last season to now being kind of a player in that first team. And yeah, and Zarate as well, a player who was obviously out on loan last season and comes back into the team and does very well. But yeah, highly impressed I was with the performance at Arsenal. So are we, uh, the, our forum was quite split on Bilic as well. Don't worry, it's not just the neutrals are holding themselves where the wee bit split. Yeah. Yourself had changes, of course, at your club. Uh, I went Nigel Pearson. In you, Claudio Ranieri, how did you feel about those two managers? Uh, uninspired by the Ranieri decision, but not so uninspired by the decision to sack Pearson. I mean, Pearson for the club was an embarrassment a lot of times, especially in press conferences. I mean, for a lot of like neutrals and stuff, it was great humour, his ostrich stuff and the, the comments he made about the most ignorant man in the world. But looking from a club that... But I love it. It was slightly embarrassing at times. But I think every Leicester fan will tell you that as much as now Pearson's gone and the club will hold a place in our heart for him because, I mean, he got us promotions, one of our most successful managers ever. We have to move on now. And Ranieri couldn't have done any more than, than he did at the weekend to get off to a start like that. And I, I wouldn't say the posit it's necessarily positive, the, the support from the crowd at the moment, but it's definitely growing under Ranieri for him. 
Yeah, I think you, we can relate to you quite a lot because obviously a lot of neutrals thought we were mad to sack Allardyce and a lot of the West Ham fans wanted him gone. Yeah. And I suppose it's a role reversal for the Pearson thing over at Leicester. If you like outside looking in, we're a bit iffy about why you got a bit of Pearson. Yeah. Pitched on the weekend there, great result for you. Um, not the best opposition, I suppose, in terms of quality. Um, how did you think about that game went? Uh, a bit like you. I mean, as West Ham fan and Leicester, we couldn't have asked for any more that first weekend. Yes, Sunderland were poor for the first 30 minutes. I mean, epitomised by Catamol, captain, coming off after 30 minutes, after giving away a penalty on Mares. But, yeah, the th- I mean, the first 30 minutes, we were, we were unplayable again. So, there wasn't a team that would have been able to play against us that first half an hour. I mean, you could see around the faces, the state of shock, thinking, but oh, is this really, this is the team from last season when we drew nil-nil against this side, the worst game of last season. But, yeah, I mean, it was just brilliant. And to concede two goals... Against that Sunderland team, I'm not too pleased with, especially Stephen Fletcher getting one. Uh, but yeah, you, you know, you can't you can't have the perfect game, can you? Oh, he's a fellow Scotsman. Something else, didn't it? It's number nine, Scotland's number nine. He is <laughs> awful. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have an ostrich up front than yeah. <laughs> I'm sure um, he would say, yeah. Well, as you come to Upton Park on Saturday, um, is there any one of your players, if you like, that? We as West Ham fans should look out for it and maybe don't know about. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know about your Vardys and, and players like that, but two definitely. I mean, Jeffrey Schlupp, who's a really, really pacey, pacey kind of wing back. He played in a 3 5 2 and all Brighton on the other side. I'm going to put them as one player. Mate, you've got to watch them because that's our real outlet, those two down the, down the side. I mean, all Brighton's got amazing delivery he had when he was at Villa, and Schlupp's pace is, is unbelievably a problem. But the one you really have to watch out for, our Dimitri Paye, is Riyad Mahrez. And he's a class above what we've seen at Leicester for a long time. And if he's on top form, he can tear any centre of half apart just by his turns. Yeah, he definitely started the season well anyway. Um, just lastly about the game before we do our fun quick fire round, uh, give us a prediction for Saturday. Oh, do I go for my Leicester heart or do I go for my obvious? I'm going to go for one all. One all, I think, will be, be a result I'd be happy with. Leicester, notoriously are terrible in London. Anytime we go to London, we lose. So I'd take one all every day of the week and escape. Yeah, well, um, just for the sake of you, I'm going to go for a 3-0 home win. Uh, <laughs> I'm very optimistic. <laughs> my my heart says 2-1. Yeah. It's 3-0, so I'm going to stick stick with up here. and I'll change you, man. 4-0 Leicester. <laughs> right, quick fire round. You ready for this? Yes, I'm sorted. Yes, right, so ASAP. No thinking, no cheating. I've got you. I've got you. Right, Konchesky or Brevet? Konchesky. Walkers or Golden Wonder? Oh, Walkers. Sex tape scandal or casino scandal? Casino scandal. West Ham or Tottenham? Tottenham. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Joey Barton or no Joey Barton? Mm, no Joey Barton. Ostrich or Foxes? Boxes. Aha, nice one. Well, Charlie, thank you. You can see him. I just did a little chat with one of the West Ham fans' forums. Yeah, check them out in the link in the description below just to watch their preview of the game and what a West Ham point of view think about the game that's going to happen uh, tomorrow. But yeah, I, I think a draw would be a result I'll be really happy with. And I really hope it is a draw because I do see that as a really good result. Ranieri uh, drawing his first away game, especially at West Ham, who was such a bogey team to us. I'm not sure anyone would complain. For the team, I'm not sure he'll change anything. If he does change anything, I think it could be Kante coming in for, for one of King or Drinkwater. But then again, I mean, King Drinkwater played so well in my first game, I'm not really sure why he'd change it. Apart from that, I think he'll go the same again. Um, some people are saying he could play one up front, Ujoa, because it's an away game. But I don't think Ranieri will do that. I think he'll stay with kind of a formation he, he, he's played and the team he played in the first game because it was such a great performance. I don't think you can change that. So, yeah, I think it'll be exactly the same formation and team as it was in the first game. West Ham, I think they'll line up pretty much the same as they did in the first game as well. Winning 2-0 away to Arsenal, you're not going not gonna to change anything. I mean... They have got a lot of danger, West Ham, we can't say that. They have got a lot of danger, and Billich is an unknown manager. We don't know what they're going to be like this season. I mean, they could be a Southampton. But at the same time, they don't know what we're going to be like this season, which I think we really have on our side. But yeah, I think it'll be a really, really interesting game. One all is my prediction. Uh, it's going to be a sellout again from, from last fans, which is brilliant. It'll be an amazing noise from a Blue Army, as it always is. But yeah, I'll be doing a video after the game, obviously, with my reaction. I didn't get one up from Sunderland, because I was massive upload and rendering problems with with a video and i'm not really sure why so sorry if anyone's disappointed by that but yeah it was really annoying for me but it, that, that video didn't go but yeah there will be one definitely from a west ham one tomorrow um 
I'm going to just say quickly about the game. I think West Ham fans are pretty confident about it and I think we are pretty confident about it as well. So that's why I've gone for the draw. The balance out in the middle and hopefully it will happen. As always, please like the video and uh, share it on all social media outlets. Retweet it, favourite it on anything. My Twitter is at LCFC Hammond. Please leave your comments below here and comment to me on Twitter saying anything you think might happen in the game. And please subscribe to my channel anywhere around the screen now for daily uploads. I'll see you in the next one.